Hey guys, United Gozos here. We're at YCS Dortmund and we have our top eight uh, guy, Sven Rittmann. You know, tell about your dick. Yeah, I'm the top eight guy, Sven Rittmann. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I played Flan Um Why did I play Flan I guess if you can play, then it's quite the best deck of all. But it is kind of bricky and I decided to run uh, the most consistent version of it and to counter things like Unchained and stuff like that, which I uh, thought would be very often. Yeah. Okay, so check out your deck. Okay, yeah. So standard Tramp and Razor Apex. I guess there's not much to say about that. Those are really standard. I did want to play Free Ampen because I didn't want to brick on the, the Tribute Summons. And let's run through the, the birds. Those are quite standard. Pretty standard, yeah. yeah. Then uh, now we get a little bit more specific. The spice. Yeah, ah, spice, not, not exactly. Yeah, it's a uh, 2 3 and 2 2 can, not 1 1. And the reason behind this is you, you want to see the birds. Because um, you need them for the quick spell, you need them for the for the field spell, and um, you need another bird for Eaglen. You need the birds uh, similar to a Tritron deck where you need two names. And um, in testing, uh, when I when I first run one of each, yeah, you brick like every five games or stuff like that, or every six games. And right now for the whole tournament, I mean, I guess I played 15 rounds or so, 16 rounds. 1650 or 16 yeah. rounds, I only bricked twice and said it was in the same match, but back to back. But yeah, twi uh, to, to brick twice with uh, Flander means it's it got a really high consistency, I guess. Okay, yeah, then surely the shifter, yeah, it's a complete <laughs> shifter, blowout yeah. against so many decks against uh, Telemant and etc. etc. So, not much to say about that. And the last one is the Crow. Crow um, is quite better than Seamog, obviously, because you can search in the opponent's uh, turn with Robina, and it's uh, FTK against Purely. So it was the, the best choice to run Crow instead of Seamog, I guess. There, let's go to spells. Spells we got. Free, free, free map, free quick spells, um, terraforming for the quick spell, yeah. and one un unexplored wins. Quite one of the best cards in the deck. If you see it, um, you can break so many boards going second. Um, but to run more than one would be bricky again. And I decided to run it at the highest consistency. Then we have two frosts, one tactic. One health, yeah, with one Peter Duster and one Evilly and, and Featherstorm. Those are the targets for Frost. If you're going first and you get hand trapped at any time, you set the Featherstorm and have FTK. And if you go second, you have the Herald for the purely matchup. You got Feather Duster for any back row. You got Tactics because it's the most versatile, obviously. And you got Evilly because it's a blowout against, against Rescue Ace, against um, so many decks. So I imagine, I imagine Harpy came like in a lot, but did Harold, uh, Harpy, and Evenly come up some? Or like, did they perform that good or? Yeah, um, Evenly never came up in game one, to be honest. Um, Feather does, uh, um when it gets grindy, then it's really good. Otherwise, it's very um, matchup. Uh, it depends on the matchup, I guess. But it's okay to run it. I mean, you need the out for, for a couple situations, and to not run it would be a, yeah. would mean that you scoop sometimes yeah. uh, immediately because you can out any floodgate as a play game. Uh, Harold, um, I didn't play any purely the whole tournament. <laughs> so the, not in Swiss, not in Top Cut, not not a single one. So I'd rather play the Gold Saga Park instead of this. But uh, yeah, I guess you need to run it in in case that you play against purely. Yeah, game fair, one. fair. Otherwise, it's really hard to out the noir or stuff like that. Yeah, but quite a really good card. I wouldn't run more than two because you don't want it. Uh, you don't want to see um, multiple of these. But other than that, it's a really good engine to play it. Uh, like yeah. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Then uh, surely the 
les portes. Uh, free prosperity, free duality, and one issue wins. Seven is the perfect um, solution. Um, the high, it's the highest percentage for, for the pots. Um, you don't want to run more than one ex um, extra guns because you don't want to see uh, multiple and it conflicts with the other one um, with the prosperity and yeah and you need to draw it and you're starting it because it's the first card you have to activate so it's not that versatile but um, playing one is really good um, and these six are yeah yeah yes and then the last card sorry and yeah basically standard yeah. Okay. Uh, let's go to the side deck. The side two on the edge in the side deck, and playing the, the more of the frost targets in the main deck because they have a um, way higher impact than than edge. Edge is a really good card, of course, but the only high impact it has is against uh, stuff like Gaspia or, or, or um, such matchups, and because of that, um, I just decided it for those specific matchups for a couple of thrust targets. Or for a shifter in uh, in a couple matchups. Yeah. Then roll um, against a couple of matchups. Good, I guess um, it's the second best hand trap after shifter. Then max out the evenly matches, max out the feather the storm. Yeah. Um, if you go first, then you side those two guys and three fragments. So you have um, a Six cards, which are FTK basically, and you're playing seven um, pots and thrusts. Um, it's in every second or every third game, you, you see one of these at least, and then yeah, it's really hard to lose in game three if you go first. Um, two um, targets for thrust again. I played the Dark Ruler for some combo matchups and um, sometimes for Despia. Um, came up against Info Noble, uh, also really good. Yeah, and Lightning Storm, yeah, also for a back row and a couple of uh, mirror, like a mirror match or something like that when you want to shoot the, the end. Yeah. Yeah. And the most important thing of all. The most important part. <laughs> see, the extra deck. Um, I played a couple of cards which would do make sense, like this one. <laughs> Um, more, but more, I'm, birds, more birds, more birds, more I've never summoned any one of those. Uh, it, it, it doesn't, it just doesn't come up. It yeah. doesn't come up. Uh, um, and <laughs> all of the other cards, uh, oh, okay, I got uh, three more cards. You can <laughs> actually be played. The other cards are cherry targets. Which you didn't play, but yeah. And I didn't play cherry. <laughs> Fair <laughs> this enough. This could have been anything, but uh, the, the case is, is, is so rare that you need your extra deck. Yeah. And it was just a gimmick. Okay. Okay. Then, tell me more. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. As I said, I played no purely. A couple of chains, a couple of chronic runic stones, a couple of despias, and stuff like that. It's uh, good against nearly everything. You don't have crazy bad matchup or something like that. So I guess it's uh, it was the right choice to play it okay. in a high position. So shoutouts. Shoutouts. Um, Surely to United Dozos, we're back on track. And um, to the guys who helped me in, in the deck building, like Yannis and surely um, shout out to my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you. See you next time. Bye.